There are five most discussed theories on origin of earth. In this part, three of them are explained. They are tidal hypothesis, binary star hypothesis, interplanetary dust hypothesis. First one, tidal hypothesis, in which the massive star passed near to the sun would rise a huge solar bulge on the matter and it would escape in the form of filament. It is proposed by Sir James James in 1919 and Harold Jeffrey in 1929. Let's look this in detail. The solar system was formed from a primitive sun and another intruding star. In the beginning, the sun was a big incandescent gaseous mass of matter. Besides the sun, there were another star termed intruding star in the universe. The intruding star was much bigger in size than primitive sun. In this figure, you can see the primitive sun which is stationary and rotating in its axis. So, the intruding star was moving along such a path in such a way that to come near to the primitive sun, so there is a greater impact of tidal force. So, this tidal force, this tide separate from the sun as a filament. This tide is separate from the sun as a filament. James J. James James postulated that due to the massive gravitational force of intruding star, huge amount of matter is ejected from the primitive sun, which later on become the building material of future planets. According to Newton's law of universal gravitation, gravitational force of the intruding star and the primitive sun would depend upon two factors, the product of their masses and the distance between the two stars. Thus, if the mass of the intruding star is high, the gravitational force exerted by it will be also high. If mass is high, the gravitational force also become high. Since James James assumed that the intruding star to be much bigger than the primitive sun, intruding star is bigger than the primitive sun, the former exerted large amount of gravitational pull on the surface of primitive sun than the gravitational pull of the primitive sun which caused ejection of the matter from the primitive sun. There is an inverse relation between the gravitational force of two stars and the two stars and the distance between them. Since the intruding star was coming close to the primitive star, hence the amount of gravitational force between them is also increasing. So as I already mentioned, a filament is ejected from the primitive sun due to the gravitational pull. When an intruding star comes nearest to the primitive sun, its gravitational force becomes maximum. Thus, the giant cigar-shaped tide of 1000 km length and huge mass was created on the outer surface of the primitive sun and ultimately was ejected from the primitive sun. Genes called the cigar-shaped matter as a filament, which, which must must thicker in the center and thin shaped at the ends. In the figure, you can see here, uh, there is a cigar-shaped filament, which is thicker at the center and thinner at the tapering ends. In this figure, the filament formation and shape of the filament is explained. In this first position, the intruding star, this, this is the intruding star. The intruding star was at a distant place from the primitive sun. So, the gravitational force is low due to the greater distance. So, a small quantity of first part, a small quantity of first part uh, get ejected. So, a incandescent matter came out from the surface of the primitive sun. In the second position, in the second position, the intruding star came in nearest to the primitive sun. The maximum gravitational pull was exerted by it. So, maximum amount of incandescent matter was ejected. Again, in the third position, 
the intruding star moved away from the primitive sun gravitational attraction become maximum and thus a small amount of matter get ejected in the fourth position gradually the intruding star moved away from the primitive sun and went on the gravitational field over sun in the beginning when the filament was detached from the primitive sun it followed the intruding star this filament followed the intruding star as it is it was pulled by intruding star the filament keep going with the intruding star but would not succeed and it started revolving around the primitive sun so this formation of planets from the filament the filament after being detached from the primitive sun began to cool down thus the filament started contracting in size on cooling on the contraction the filament led to the breaking into several pieces and each pieces was condensed to form one separate planet this process led to the formation of eight planets the filament of incandescent gaseous matter allowed bigger planets form in its middle portion and smaller ones towards the tapering ends the remaining part of the primitive sun become sun as today the satellites of the planets were formed due to the gravitational pull and tidal effort exerted by the sun on outer surface of the newly formed planets evidences in favor of this hypothesis first one shape and ordering of planets the planets formed from the condensation of the incandescent gaseous matter of middle portion of the filament were in bigger size than planets from the tapering ends this arrangement of planets formed from filament matches with the present arrangement the second one ordering and arrangement of satellites there are almost same type of arrangement of satellites around the planets as like as the arrangement of planets around sun according to the hypothesis the satellites were formed through condensation of incandescent matter ejected from the planet in same manner as sun third one number and size of satellites larger number of satellites were formed from bigger planets because bigger planets look at look more longer took more la longer time on cooling and condensation fourth one the rotation revolution and inclination of planet axis the planet revolve around the sun in same direction and in same plane similarly satellites of planets are revolving around the planet in same direction and plane let's look for the disadvantages disadvantages the universe is infinite in space and time and the stars are so distant from each other that such a close encounter between them is a remote possibility the so stars coming so close is a remote possibility second one the james jeans did not explains were about the density of intruding star which caused the tidal eruption on the surface of primitive sun in the form of filament third one he could not elaborate the process and mechanism of condensation of matter ejected from the primitive sun fourth one the planets of our solar system are largely formed of elements having high atomic weight but constituents elements of the sun are of lighter atomic weight the tidal hypothesis fails to offer convincing explanation for such anomalous situations so the elements have high atomic weight but the constituent uh, of uh, constituent elements of the sun are of lighter atomic weight so the satellites were formed from tidal effect exerted by the primitive sun on the newly born planets the question arises why no satellites were formed from mercury and venus so this hypothesis failed to explain the real distances between the sun and planets in our solar system next one binary star hypothesis a binary star 
a binary star is a star system consisting of two stars orbiting around their common barycenter. H. N. Russell, an American astronomer, proposed his binary star hypothesis in the year 1937. And it is in this figure, this is the primitive sun, the primitive sun, and this is a companion star. And there is, so this is a binary star system, and there is a great giant approaching star. The approaching star is at a greater distance from the primitive sun. It is a greater distance, but close to the companion star. So, the because of the maximum tidal force exerted on the companion star, was the materials from the companion star get attracted and ejected. Later, planets were formed from the ejected matter. So, the ejector, some matter get ejected from the companion star. It's a primitive sun. It's a companion star. And due to the gravitational pull of this intruding star, the surface of the companion star get attracted and ejected. So let's check this in detail. There were two stars near the primitive sun in the universe. In the beginning, a companion star was revolving around the primitive sun. Later on, one giant star named approaching star came near the companion star. But the direction of revolution of approaching star was opposed to that of companion star. It was believed that the distance between two stars might have been 48 lakh to 64 lakh kilometer. It means that the approaching star might have been at a far greater distance from the primitive sun. Thus, there would have been no effect of tidal force of giant approaching star on primitive sun, but large amount of matter of the companion star was attracted towards the giant approaching star because of massive tidal force. As the great approaching star came nearer to the companion star, gravitational and tidal force continued to increase and hence bulge on the outer surface of the companion star started growing towards the giant approaching star. When the giant approaching star came nearest to the companion star, large amount of matter was ejected from the companion star due to the maximum gravitational force exerted by giant approaching star. The ejected matter started revolving in the direction of giant approaching star and thus opposed to the direction of revolution of companion star. Later, one planets were formed from the ejected matter. In the beginning, the planets might have been nearer to each other and thus matter might have been ejected from these planets due to their mutual attraction and thus satellites might have been formed from these matter. Demerits includes, it did not explain about the fate of remaining portion of the companion star. Second one, the residual companion star which was nearest to the primitive sun could not come within the gravitational field of the sun. In fact, residual companion star should have come within the gravitational domain but did not happen. Russell was unable to resolve this contra contradiction. Third one, Russell did not elaborate the process of mechanism through which the planets after, the, after their formation were brought within the gravitational field. Last one, interstellar dust hypothesis. Otto Schemdet, a Russian scientist, proposed his interstellar dust hypothesis in 1943. In the theory, Earth and the solar system was formed from gas and dust particles. The sun in its present form passed through a dense interstellar cloud, emerging developed in a cloud of dust and gas and which planets eventually formed. According to the interstellar dust hypothesis, our sun during its galactic revolution captured the interstellar cloud had its own angular momentum and after being attracted by the sun during this galactic revolution started revolving around the primitive rotation sun. These matter were called 
stellar dust by scheme it in the beginning gaseous cloud and dust particles were revolving around the sun separately gases being less in volume were destabilized de and less systematically arranged while the dust particles being more amount of quantity and were more stabilized and more systematically arranged thus the dust particle after being combined and condensed were changed into a flat disk which started revolving around the sun under the combined impacts of three types of motion first one the rotational motion of the sun second one gravitational pulls exerted by the sun on the disk of dark matter third one angular momentum of the disk dark matter of the universe thus under the impact of these three types of motion each and every particle started redistributing itself on the basis of mass density dimension and the existing amount of centrifugal force tending to push the particles towards the sun thus a particle have larger amount of centrifugal force were thrown out towards the margins of the rotating disk while the particles having small amount of centrifugal force were attracted towards the band of the disk nearer the sun the intense heat of the sun dispersed the gas particles towards the margin of the disk collision among the dust particles started the process of aggregation and accretion around the bigger particles which become the embryos of future planets gas particles could not condense as they could not organize due to their continued motion with the passage of time these embryos captured more and more matter and thus grew in size to become asteroids these asteroids further grew in size due to the continuous accretion of nearby matter around them and thus they become planets some matter still remained in the disk after the formation of planets this pla this matter were condensed to form satellites on planets demerits includes the first one the gravitational force of the primitive sun was incapable of capture dark matter because only binary star system can capture dark matter second one according to some astrophysicists the meteorites and asteroids were formed as a result of the disintegration of some planets and not not the planets were formed from the meteorites and asteroids third one till now no trace elements remnants of dark matter could be discovered either in the archaeological drilling in the earth surface or on another planet in this table i summarized all five theories on origin of earth the five theories are nebular hypothesis planetesimal hypothesis tidal hypothesis fourth one binary star hypothesis fifth one interstellar dust hypothesis so nebular hypothesis is proposed by immanuel kant and pierre laplace so planetesimal is proposed by chamberlin and moulton tidal hypothesis is proposed by james jeans and harold jeffrey the fourth one is proposed by h n russell and then otto schemdet in nebular hypothesis the ba basic concept was the primeval nebula the solar system is developed from a primeval nebula in planetesimal hypothesis close passage of the combination of stars to protosun caused planetesimals to drawn from the sun eventually coalescing into planets so planet first one is a concept of primeval nebula in second one the concept is about the formation of planetesimals in third one a filament formation is taking place passage of a massive intruding star past the sun the matter escape from the sun in the form of a filament in tidal hypothesis the term filament is very crucial in binary star hypothesis there was a companion star revolving around the primitive sun later a giant approaching star came due to gravitational pull huge amount of matter ejected from the companion star this matter later become planets in interstellar dust hypothesis earth and solar system was formed from the interstellar gas and dust particles 
ஸோ தேங்க்யூ